the Human Rights Foundation's fourth year anniversary celebration continued in full swing on Saturday, October 12, 2024. With a vibrant schedule of events and activities, they saw a gathering of the founding members and the graduating leaders of the organization who reflected on the foundation's humble beginnings and remarkable journey over the past four decades. A founding member of the Human Rights Foundation, Paul Wanibe, expresses gratitude and nostalgia reflecting on the organization's humble beginnings and 40 year journey, acknowledging challenges and pride in its enduring impact. It's an absolute pleasure um, standing here for something that was part of the founding body to be celebrating its 40th year anniversary. Um, the Human Race Foundation was founded 40 years ago effectively to instill social, economic and academic discipline. We started in the University of Nigeria. Um, I think, for, if memory serves me right, I was barely 15 or 16 at the time when I got into university. And then uh, we, as a group of friends, we came together to enhance our academic and social um, content on, on, on campus. Um, we started as a group of five and kept on growing. We first of all introduced some structure and then some geographic diversity. The gentleman from Asuka joined us. And today we see ourselves in 17 countries in four continents, um, almost 200 of us, um, professionals all around the world. And we're effectively now a very heavily um, based networking organization that changes the lives of many other people. So it's a pleasure to be here. It's an honor and I'm just humbled um, just by the dedication and passion um, shown by all the members. In the, in the 40 year history, as you can imagine, any organization, there've been immense challenges. And you know, I've always said that you, you don't judge, judge success um, from the good things you've achieved. You judge it from the problems you've overcome. So as you can imagine, an organization like this growing over a period of time, the challenges of diversity were, were important. The challenges of getting new members that, that had the discipline and the character to abide by the rules and grow the organization. The challenges of getting onto the next stage, the challenges of leadership succession, um, and the challenges of continuity as people became busy, had families and had other things to do. Um, but the biggest challenge is how do you merge your dedication to an organization like this and merge that with your family life and your work life as you go, become busier. Um, but you know, the great thing is that's exactly what the human race was all about. It was there to instill those principles of discipline in you that enable you to manage your time, manage your commitments effectively. In their separate speeches, Raj Honorable John Shikudi and Professor Chumi Wongu, founding members of the foundation, reflect on their journey in the foundation while highlighting inspiration and community impact. It's been an interesting journey, I must be honest with you, because the foundation inculcated in us the true meaning of the restoration of the dignity of man. You know, sometimes you might go through school without the school going through you. But what the foundation did for every one of us was to bring into life the true meaning of that motto, restoration of the dignity of man. And it was a great opportunity for us to have very strong brotherhood, where we had cause to help ourselves and to share fond memories as we are doing right now. God has been of great blessings to each and every one of us. So I believe it's our duty to really mentor them. Beyond all of that, it's also our duty to give back to the university community. So we are starting by way of uh, helping them with their infrastructural development. And I'm sure you're aware of what we did uh, in the last two days, uh, where we've had costs to renovate the Faculty of Health Sciences and the provision of solar energy, so that, of course, they will have 24 hour energy system. So that's just the starting point, And we're going to expand that in both campuses, as it were. And, uh, I believe the future is going to be bright for every one of us. Uh, when I was uh, a young man in school, a bunch of us as friends uh, got together and uh, founded this organization. At the time, we were looking to strengthen our bonds, um, just look at a way for us to build a brotherhood. We wanted to inspire one another. We wanted to achieve success uh, academically, socially. And we felt that this was a way for us to 
help each other be our best selves. Uh, in uh, Enugu, uh, where it started, we developed a culture of uh, charity, uh, visiting motherless babies' homes. Uh, we then expanded to Nsuka, uh, doing the same thing, helping uh, mentor secondary school students, helping mentor young people as they came into school. So it's, um, it's been a, a great journey where we have, uh, over the last 40 years, uh, built a tremendous brotherhood, and we're looking to do even more and do even better for the community over the next few decades. On the same hand, Chimizi Anihe, president of Human Race Foundation, undergraduate and showed appreciation for the foundation's fourth year anniversary charity effort, which have positively impacted his friends and family in school. Well, the Human Race Foundation, as we all know, is a charity organization, but mainly for its members is made to build young men, to groom them, to become sound men all around, socially, academically, financially. So personally, I've seen growth in my life in these areas since I've joined. This 40th anniversary, as we, um, we did a charity project in UNEC and UNN, and it means a lot because those departments, we all, we are, my friends of mine are there, my siblings are in the health, Faculty of Health Sciences, and Mechanical Engineering. So this project, this 40th anniversary project means a lot to me because those, those, they impact me directly, making life easier for me and my friends and my family in school. And apart from that, the 40th anniversary also brings together my brothers from around the world. So it's a good thing that I get to see them once again, because not every time you have to... The granddaughter of Human Rights Foundation, Dr. Chimoti, while speaking, shared his connection to the foundation's goal, stressing the importance of philanthropy. A lot of the work that we do, um, but I'm just going to obviously, I'm going to pick, uh, I'm going to pick two if you don't mind. The first one I'm going to pick is the one that uh, started off when, when I was a, uh, an undergraduate, and that's I work with the Motherless Babies Home. And uh, we've always had an association with the Motherless Babies Home, as far as I can remember. And part of our HIF at 40 events, we went to a Motherless Babies Home yesterday. And it was so nice to see that we have continued the relationship that started almost 30 years ago, and it's ongoing. So that was really great. That really resonates with me. Um, when we are choosing a project, we wanted a project that actually impacts on the lives of the students for today. And that's why we chose our green project where we supplied solar, uh, solar powered energy to classrooms so that students can study. The way I see these things is that in life, you can talk, 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 you can do, do, do. I think that when people show kindness, people reward, uh, people sh um, go out and show kindness to others. So I think that philanthropy is a big thing. I think you cannot, you know, you can't overdo it. I think that, you know, starting from a kind word to a kind act uh, to, you know, going to people who need. Some of the students that we, we went, saw yesterday, like in the career fair and all that, I could see the uh, the um, genuine um, um, uh, appreciation that they showed for people taking an interest in it. Chairman of the Human Race Foundation for Fiat Planning Committee, Mr. Afam Anyika, shared his excitement and personal experience of the foundation's positive impact on his life. I would say amazing, impactful events we've had over the last two days. Um, yesterday, we saw our work within the community where our foundation was formed, which is a university campus, University of Nigeria Enugu campus, um, where we um, where we spearheaded and you know have brought you know real impact to that um, institution through our adoption of. Um, um, legacy projects at the Faculty of Health Sciences. Um, in, in addition, we had the career fair, which I did find quite impactful, and I would say would, would remain one of the landmark moments for me through, you know, all that has happened this weekend. Um, and how the, the, the organization has impacted me. To be honest, it just reflects in everything I've experienced this weekend. And, you know, without thinking too much about it, I could already just take the weekend and answer that question. And it's simply saying to me, first of all, this brotherhood. Um, I, I, I have brothers I will never probably have met um, just because of the foundation. You know, I have brothers who I lean on for advice, whether it's business, whether it's family. Um, and then it's also about impact, right? And all the work we're doing with campus, all the work we're doing within our communities, I mean, and I could go on and on, but for me, it's two things. It's brotherhood and...